from Rhythmatic TV, and we are here with Brad Sickles. You got it right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what inspired your choreography today? Um, honestly, I was having kind of a crummy few days. Um, I was having like a lot of work issues and life issues and stress stuff. So I started to think about like, what am I going to put on major death at my class? And I was like, just stop thinking about it and like have fun. And so I, I chose a song called Came to Party. So it's just like upbeat and uh, it's just like fun. And I just want to like let loose and forget about everything and like forget that I have to work in the morning and just like have fun. So it's like upbeat and exciting and fast paced and it's just fun. Good. Is there any type of like story plot to it or just Absolutely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like um it's kinda like two sections, like one is sharper movement and then the ending is just kind of like full of sass. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just like it kind of like encompasses the way I feel like when I'm in a club and like my song comes on mm -hmm. and I'm just like <laughs> Move! <laughs> it's my time. Um, so hopefully everyone feels that way today. I'll make I'll make everyone feel that way. <laughs> yeah. Would you say your piece is more like hard hitting or more like smooth and sultry? I love this question. <laughs> oh my God. Stop! I get made fun of. <laughs> um, I wish I could say it was like really sultry and sexy, but it's not. It's like it's sharp. It's fast. Um, it's very staccato. Um, and there's there's really nothing sultry about oh, it. Okay. Um, but it's like high level of uh, energy and lots, lots of sass on the end. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Since this is a major deaf um, public class, what are your affiliations with the team? I'm just a big fan. <laughs> um, I joined Capital Funk like six years ago mm -hmm. and have been on the team ever since. And I used to just um, like sit in the audience and watch Major Deaf and just admire like the theatrics and just like how creative and outside the box the team was and um, so I always just was like they're so great I love watching them and then um, the past year or two Capital Funk we've like sort of tried to come out of our shell a little bit and like interact with people in the, the dance community and Major Def was just like so open arms yeah. with us and they were just like I don't know we hosted workshops with them and and they've been really awesome, and I love them. They're Good. so great. Yeah, they are. So since you're on um, Capital Funk, what would you say? Is there any? Are there any differences with, um, I guess, different dance teams within the community? Mm. Well, I think every team is really different from the other. Like, I like watching them all for very different reasons. Like I said, Major Death always wows me with how well thought out. Like the story is like they tell a story with dance yeah. and I just I respect that so much we kind of do the same thing like we're very we're like a very quirky and kind of insane team um, like we've tackled a lot of random themes like recess and construction I love that. And, and, yeah. yeah like we're just kind of we're kind of nuts as a team and so we try and tackle those types of things and bring that to life on stage but um, I mean like I love watching I think there are a lot of differences like uh, culture shock like I admire them so much. Like, I, technically, they're amazing, and like, they are so well versed in the styles. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think that's what makes, you know, DMV's full of really good talent. And right. I think it's because every team is so different, and I don't know. I'm very entertained by all of them. Yeah, me too. Um, who were your like inspirations um, when you first started to dance? Oh my God, back in the '70s. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> So I'm a Janet Jackson fanatic. Yeah. Um, so she is she is like the reason I am dancing. I used to when I when I was little I would watch her concerts live like on VHS and just memorize all the choreo. Uh huh. Um, and she was my first concert when I was seven. Oh wow. Yeah. And okay. so um, I loved her. I love. Uh, Michael Peters, who did Thriller, like mm. people who just like are iconic choreographers. Um, but like current people, um, I have a soft spot for like Tony Zahar mm. and yes. Andy J, and like people who are insanely talented but still like so level headed mm -hmm. and kind of like amazing teachers. Right. I don't know, they're just like, their craft is very inspirational to me. It is. Do you have any um, advice for the new dancers? Oh, new up. dancers. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I mean, besides the obvious, which is like be hungry, be a sponge, like mm -hmm. train as much as you can. Um, I would say like there's there's a lot you can learn from people who have a lot of experience, but there's also so much you can learn from just like yourself, um, trusting your own creativity, like not second guess. I, I find myself second guessing a lot. Like, should I be doing this or is this like too weird? But like, if I have like a bold and creative idea, I should just like embrace that. Right. And I think everyone should feel that way because then you're creating something original mm -hmm. and awesome and I I wish that I had told Brad from 10 years ago that because then I would have spent a lot less time thinking about like is this cool or is this yeah. like hip and I'd just be like screw it yeah. it's me and I'm gonna put it out there so I guess just like I don't know be bold be yeah. creative and Take class, lots of class. <laughs> Take his class. <laughs> well, thank you. I completely agree with your answers. Yes. Um, what if you didn't? <laughs> oh, then, uh, I don't know. I usually agree. Okay. <laughs> but that was a good answer. Thanks. Um, but you're here with Rhythmatic TV. You're here with Brad. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button. I don't know if it's like here. Be sure to click the like button below. Comment on the videos, asking questions, anything you'd like me to ask the next choreographer. And we'll see you next Monday. Bye! Bye.